Uh, welcome to the researchers come. Today I'm at the Nagoya University to meet Mr. Rico Ankog. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to Nanish. meet you too. So you are from the universities of Philippines. Yes. And now you're studying in Nagoya University. Hi. Okay. So first, could you tell me what kind of study I'm doing now? Um, actually, currently I worked into um, oh I, I I explore into how private sector mm -hmm. initiatives could be advanced towards conservation efforts of large marine ecosystems. Okay. That large marine ecosystems is located in the Philippines. Oh, Philippines. Hi. Home country. Yeah, my home country. Okay. Okay, um, this is what we call the Sulu Sulawesi seascape. Mm -hmm. This is um, this seascape is composed or surrounded by three countries, namely mm -hmm. the Philippines. We also have the Malaysia, and then we have the Indonesia part. Okay. So this is called Sulu Sulawesi because in the part of the Philippines we have the Sulu Sea here, and then the Sulu Sulawesi in this part. So all together here, this is what we call the Sulu Sulawesi Seascape. Sulu Sulawesi Seascape. So this is uh, the name of the seascape. Yeah, this is the name of the seascape. Okay. And uh -huh. in uh, inside the seascapes, there are several corridors. Mm -hmm. And one of those corridors is the Verde Island Passage. Okay. This corridor is located at the tip of the Coral Triangle. This is the Coral Triangle. Mm -hmm. And in the studies of carpenters and of course with Conservation International Philippines, this is considered as the center of the center of marine biodiversity and earth. So it is very important for uh, the efforts towards this is very important. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so what else? So much of the efforts of Conservation International Philippines is towards conservation efforts of Verde Island Passage. Mm -hmm. For the past years, many biodiversity efforts has been conducted. But nowadays, we're into the level where we would like to enjoin other sectors. And the most important sector, other than public sectors and then the fishermen, are the participation of the industries or the private sector in general. Specifically the industries, because Verde Island Passage is surrounded by three major provinces in the Philippines, yes. wherein um, higher rate of industrial activities are existing, specifically in Batangas, okay. as well as in this area, there is this large-scale um, tourism activities. These mm -hmm. industrial activities and tourism activities are affecting the water quality of the Verde Island Passage Corridor. Okay. And if we do not do if you will not do something for this one, of course, this will affect the quality of, of, of the water mm -hmm. and eventually will also affect, will also affect the biodiversity of this yes, area. Yes. So, thank you. Thank you for your explanation. So, uh, so this area is very important in terms of exactly. ecology, but also economy. Of course, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And I, I think the, the including the private company of course, is yes. uh, important but difficult because they, they, want to, they want to make money as, as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, so how, 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 how do you include them? Um, working or in joining the industries is really, really challenging. But yeah. um, there has been trend nowadays when industries are really participating towards environmental conservation, mm -hmm. basically in, in two, two modes. First is mm -hmm. through the enhancement of their environmental performance in the production of goods and services or in I the production that. of their products. Mm -hmm. So they will implement environmental management systems in adherence also to ISO standards or international standards. Okay. Other than that, there is uh, different corporate social responsibility programs that they are implementing. Through, that, through those programs, we can enjoin these industries.
and incline it towards conservation efforts specifically for large marine ecosystems like Verde Island Passage in the Philippines. Could you tell me why did you choose this kind of study? Um, actually, I am from the Philippines, which is an archipelagic country. So there are so many islands and we have very beautiful seas. Yes. So it's natural for, for us, like Filipinos, to work towards the conservation. Yeah. So it comes natural from me that I'll deal towards um, improving or saving the Verde Island Passage Corridor. Mm -hmm. I want my children to, to still see the beauty of these oh, this oceans. But the economy is also have to be developed. Yes. So um, what is important for here is that um, it is possible. Uh, we have realized that it is possible that we can meet um, economic um, concerns or objectives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while at the same time we can still accomplish environmental objectives. So mm -hmm. this is a win-win solution. Okay. We just have to harness this and okay. this is possible. I see. So do you, do you have something you want for achieving your future research? Um, the future directions that I'm targeting at is in assessing climate change impacts to small island ecosystems. So yeah. there's a need for us to reach out to other researchers mm -hmm. for, um, for, for implementing vulnerability assessment methodologies as well as frameworks. Vulnerability? Vulnerability, yes. Vulnerability. As well as for um, tools in assessing small land and ecosystems, Spe mm -hmm. specifically in um, assessing the potential impacts mm -hmm. uh, in terms of biophysical and socioeconomic impacts. Mm -hmm. Implementing climate change impacts to small island ecosystems with, so okay. that we can, we can, okay. we can compare and, mm -hmm. then, and then formulate some, some lessons learned. Okay. Well, thank you, Rico. Thank you very much. No problem. I Nadisan. Yeah. I saw I saw some pictures about the the area, the sea. Hi. And it was it was so beautiful. Yes. And uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of creatures I have I have never seen. It was so colorful, beautiful. But, but it would be better if you'll be able to really see it by yourself. Yeah. So you have to visit the Philippines and then yeah. the Verde Island Passage. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, I hope you can protect the beautiful yeah. environment and also help the development of the Philippines yeah. and other countries. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you very much. So, Gambaro. <laughs> Gambaro. Gambaro. So it's time to finish. So, see you next time. Bye. Thank you.